It is the new year, which means Beautylish does their annual after Christmas lucky bag. It is $150 if you get the XL. Fingers crossed I shopped correctly this year. Um, if you know, you know. It was $15 shipping and handling. Ouch. So with tax and all that shenanigans, it was a grand total of like $181. So I hope and pray I get my money's worth. If you're new, welcome. Last year, I made a huge mistake. I accidentally thought I was getting the XL for $150, but instead got a regular size bag, paid $150, and donated another box elsewhere, which my bad, but it was like the worst box. If you don't believe me, I will link that video in the eye above. All right, enough rambling. I am super curious what I got this year and if it can make up for what happened to me last year. So let me know, did you order this box or are you over it? Because a lot of people have been commenting that this used to be good back in the day, but each year it kind of goes downhill. Now they do always have beautiful packaging. All right, look how beautiful. It's like really thick, fancy, handcrafted wrapping paper. All right, so Lucky Bag 23, blah, blah, blah. I won't read. I'm sure lots of people in their videos read. I just want to get into the good stuff. So after removing all of the packing materials, this is what is going to be my box. Let me take the bubble wrap off. I'm not going to look because I like to be surprised and give honest reviews, but I'll just spread it in front of me and count how many items you get for $150. All right, so I got 11 products. If I could do math, and I can't, everything should hopefully have at least a $16 value. Let's hope it's better. All right, first item, of course. Um, can you say it's a trend when you've only gotten two boxes? But I have very short hair, and I am a magnet to hair scrunchies. Uh, they feel really nice and soft. There are four in the pack. It is from Kitsch, and to start a tradition, it's like when you get socks at Christmas. Okay, I did that last year. Next item, oh, we have something from Wayne Goss. I recently did a mystery box haul from him and a complete uh, look with all using all his products. I will link those down below. This here is a lipstick. It's the Luxury Cream Lipstick in the shade Walnut, which I'm fairly certain it's going to be too dark for me. I am a soft nudie pink kind of a gal but let's open her up and see maybe i doubt it maybe it's something i can wear mm, no it's a little too cinnamon too dark and if anyone's new you're like what that's not that dark for me it's too dark but i will just set that aside and move along to the next product all right what do we have here a small box Ooh, okay, I'm super excited. Already better than last year. Don't even know what the product is because this is from Shantakai. And I say that as if I've ever used anything from Shantakai. I just know it's a super bougie brand. What is this? All right, I need my little friend. All right, this is the cheek shade. Some French grace. I'm going to assume it's a blush based off of the side. And they mentioned the word cheek, but let's... Ooh, it looks like it's a little mini, a little baby, which I'm fine with. Pro oh, how adorable. So it does come with a mirror. Try not to blind you. There's an embossing of a turtle. Yes. All right. It is. It looks like there's a matte um, blush and then the embossing is shimmery. Let me try and get a little swatch of the matte and one of the glossy and then I will swirl them together. Although the turtle's gonna die. All right, well just for video's sake, we will murder a turtle on a blush palette. Okay, or come back. Uh, where was I? Okay, so this outer one is just the blush. There's the shimmery and there's the mush together. Um, beautiful, and I love a good blush. Can you tell? Maybe this year it will be a lucky bag. Next product. Shut up. Is that something from Charlotte Tilbury? What is it? Okay, it's, ooh, it's an eyeshadow palette. I'm, yeah. All right, it is 
which one? This is the Easy Eye Palette. I don't care what the colors are. I love it already. All right, so let's take a look. Oh, okay. Beautiful, right up my alley. It's very reminiscent of a palette I have from her, but it's perfect travel size. Not that I travel anywhere. Yes. Okay. Thought I was good with the Chantecaille. Uh, and then I got a Charlotte Tilbury palette. This year is a lucky year. By the way, if you don't believe me, uh, take a look at my eye look. I thought for nostalgia's sake, and since I don't think I've ever used it until now, I am wearing last year's Lucky Bag Highest End Product from my box, which is a palette from Jouer. Retail value, $42. Mm-hmm. All right, I digress. What else came in this box? All right, feels like something from, oh no, I thought it was gonna be from Good Molecules. It's not. This here is Holy Frog, and it is a Sunnyside C Glow Serum. I love serums and I love being glowy and vitamin C will get you there. What cute packaging. It's short and squatty. This feels like glass, really nice. Yes, and it's opaque so that the vitamin C, the efficacy in theory should maintain. How many mLs? One fluid ounce, 30 mL. All right, next item. Okay, here is the product. If you feel like you have to get something from Good Molecules. This here is a Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF. Yes! At least it's not like a cleanser. I use and love sunscreen. And if I love this one, I know it's super affordable. Awesome. I'm excited about that. Okay, next. Feels heavy. Feels like skincare. What is this? Don't know which way to show the box. All right, so this is from Areeb or Aribe. It's Invisible Defense. Universal Protection Spray. What does that mean? What is that? Is it, protect, is it just like a fancy way of saying finishing spray or makeup spray? Wait, what, 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 what? Oh, hair from... No, I'm just kidding. I have short hair. I don't use heating tool, whatever. I'm sure this is pricey, bougie, and nice. I'm just not a hair care kind of person. That's on me. All right, next item. We have another little palette. This here is from Viseart. Um, it is the Petites for la Peace. I always go for the French, although I'm not seeing English on here. Um, not my jam, but it's beautiful. Got this nice teal and some shimmery shades. Are these all shimmers? No, this shade here is a matte. Again, so much better than last year. All right. Dang, that's two eyeshadow palettes. All right, next item, we have a brush. Who's the brush from? I'm gonna need my friend here. <gasps> shut up, shut up. I just, I've never owned one and it could be crap, but I hear fabulous things. This is from Sonia G. OMG. All right, come on, peel off. I must feel it and try to find out why everyone raves about this. What, did they glue that on? Oh, it is, it's taped on. Why would you tape a sleeve on? Can't you tell I'm excited and want to touch you? Un momento. Good Lord, that took forever. Interesting shape. Very dense, soft. Is this, is this real hair? It, I don't know, but it doesn't feel the same to me as the synthetic ones. But I'm curious why these are super expensive. All right, what is this intended for? Does it say what it is? Oh, it says Japan. Are these handmade in Japan? Maybe that's why they're super expensive. Is it made out of goat hair, maybe? It's a base brush. Wait, do they mean foundation? I almost think how skinny and flat it is, like contour. I'm going to have to look that up. But can it get any better? Wow. All right, is there more? Oh, yes. Oh, something else from Wayne Goss. This here is a lip pencil. I got three lip pencils in the mystery box, so I'm curious if it's a different shade or something I already have. What shade is this? Oh, medium nude. I didn't, I had nude 
and like cinnamon and a mauve, but not a medium nude. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this because I think I can get away with a medium nude. Oh yes, medium nude, you could call that nude. All right, there it is right there. All right, on to the last product. It was a large palette. I didn't look, but I saved it for last because I'm hoping it's the, the, you know, day 25 on an advent calendar that never happens. All right, what do we have? I see Natasha Denona. And it's not what I already own. All right, so this is the Glam Face Palette. Come on, okay, definitely 2023, if we base it off the box, it's going to be a good year because last year's box and last year were poopy. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's not a full-on, well, it is eyeshadow, but it's not what I thought, you know, eyeshadow and blush and highlighter. And it's nude, which... Hello. Okay, I'm just going to sit here and go, wow. For this palette, just the whole box, it's sinking in. It's sinking into me how good this box is, particularly compared to last year. OMG. Okay. Oh, and look how nice. Don't want to blind you, but there is a little protected cover. Oh, does that mean these are creams? Hold on. Let's. Is it cream to powder, maybe? It feels like powder. Well, no, it kind of feels creamy. Uh, I'm going to assume that's it. All right, so let's do a little swatch here. Beautiful. Beautiful. The highlighter. So there's the blush, the highlighter. Highlighter's a little on the golden side, but doable. Uh, always could look good on the eyes. Wow. All right, let's recap everything that came in my 2023 XL $150 Beautylish Lucky Bag. I got four hair scrunchies from Kish, the Invisible Defense Hair Protectant Spray from Aribe, a Luxury Cream Lipstick from Wayne Goss, a Cheek Shade in Grace from Shantakai, a Lip Liner from Wayne Goss, the Petite Fours in Lapis from Viseart, a Sheer Mineral Sunscreen from Good Molecules, a C Glow Serum from Holofrog, the Base Brush from Sonia G, the Easy Eye Palette from Charlotte Tilbury, and the Glam Face Palette from Natasha Denona. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are, holy cow, wow, I am never that lucky. Oh my goodness, yay. This was going to be the test whether I would do it another time. Okay, I'm going to list the MSRP total value, but I'm going to assume this palette from Natasha Denona is at least like, typically your palettes are like $65. Charlotte Tilbury, this is probably, her little quads are 53 and her larger palettes are like 75. This is going to be up there. I don't even want to guess how much this brush is, but how exciting I finally get to try something from Sonia G. Come on, a little mini. Wait, is this full size? I don't know, I'll have to look it up, but anything from Shantikai, I'm sure this is at least $40, but maybe more. I love sunscreen, I love vitamin C. It's a shade I can use, not that I use lip liners very often, but hey, holy cow. All right, leave me your comments, let me know. Hopefully you've already seen people's unboxings and can let me know if my box was good, average, or best box you've seen so far, wouldn't that be nice? All right, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you could do me a huge favor, clicking that thumbs up really does help with my channel to grow. All right, thanks everyone.